Good morning, everyone. Um, so this is like the second week of March, and I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit while I make myself a snack. Now, let me get my a knife. So this week, I am, uh, you know, I'm working all the month of March on just cleaning up my life, doing some spring cleaning, and I decided to do it for the, the spring cleaning videos and I'm gonna mash this up while I talk to you. Let me lock in the focus here. Hopefully that won't go in and out. I'm gonna just talk to you while I make my snack. I'm trying to cl clean up my diet, as you know. So today's video is really um, going to be a little bit of, uh, I'm just gonna show you a really quick snack that I eat that's clean. Now I'm uh, just, it's just a snack. It's really, really good. And one of the things I love is bananas. And because I work out, I need the carbs. This is really uh, simple, and it's, like I said, it's just clean eating. So, mash up a banana, and it's surprisingly easy to mash up a banana. I know a lot of people make smoothies. I do too, but I, that's mainly in the summer when it's hot. But I used to love ice cream, and I used to love puddings and things like that. I don't hardly ever eat uh, ice cream anymore. I, that's one thing. Diet Coke and ice cream are things I thought I'd never, ever be able to give up. Uh, but I don't give up. Now, I, I will not ever have another Diet Coke ever, ever, ever. But I'm not going to say I'll never have ice cream because I will every now and then. But it's different to go from eating ice cream three to four times a week to eating ice cream once a month, once every few months. I don't think I've had ice cream in at least two months now, and it's not a big deal. We have two birthdays this month in our family, so I probably will be eating ice cream with birthday cake. All right, so I got this banana all mashed up, and let me show you what I do next. Got my mashed banana ready. So now I'm gonna just slice an orange. These oranges, I have better, I have my, um, Really good. I'm gonna have to go get my really good knife. These oranges are the kava oranges I got from uh, Sam's Club. They are so good. And uh, I'm just going to be slicing a half. So I'm gonna make juice from the other half here. So I'm just gonna slice up half this orange. There we go. I'm just going to toss this right into my banana. Let me, oops, you can't even see that. Let me pull this over. So I'm just throwing this right into the banana. Oh man, it smells so good. I'm going to stir this up. Okay, I've got one more ingredient. I'm going to mix in this uh, organic, it's the organic protein. It's uh, from Purely Inspired. It's plant-based nutrition. And I'm gonna toss in a couple tablespoons of that. There is a, sco a scoop, there is a scoop in here. So probably about a half a scoop. This is vanilla flavor. And I'm gonna stir that up. Now I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I'm going to tell you, this is really, really, really good. I've also used apples and things like that to other fruits, but I got to tell you, surprisingly, orange, banana, and then this protein makes a really, really good, good treat. This is so, so good. Seriously, guys, if you haven't tried this, you are not, I mean, I'm someone who likes my sweets. We bought a pack of Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies last weekend, and they were gone in three days. My husband does not eat Thin Mint cookies. And neither does Roscoe, and my kids haven't been here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on my exercise. Now, I woke up the other morning, and I heard the birds chirping for the first time. It was great. I really now feel like spring is in the air. Um, I also uh, noticed that when I fed the, uh, the squirrel the other day, there were buds on the tree. So that made me really happy too. Um, so spring is on its way here in Colorado. Yay! 
uh, and it got up to 64 degrees today. So I took Roscoe uh, for a walk. He likes to stop and talk to kids and talk to the other dogs. And so we did that. And uh, now that was you know, a little bit of cardio, but uh, now I am going to do uh, my back and biceps uh, workout here in the basement and um, and probably do a little bit of treadmill and uh, elliptical. So, and Ross goes down here with me. He'll take off when the treadmill gets going because he does not like that sound, right? <laughs> anyway, he doesn't like the sound of the treadmill. Uh, but anyway, that's what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to update you on uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> so, um, I'm actually not, I mean, I'm happy with where I'm at. Uh, I definitely lost some uh, strength in my um, uh, upper body, like my arms, like uh, chest presses. I had to go down on my weight a little bit, and um, I uh, on my um, arm work I went down a little bit. So my legs are still uh, pretty strong. Uh, my abs, I was able to do push-ups on the Bosu ball, Bosu ball. <laughs> Uh, like I usually do. So I'm pleased with that. And I am having my almond. It's the uh, Silk Almond Light. And I'm going to um, add this to, to my blender bottle, which I think I've said that before. That is my favorite bottle uh, to blend muscle milk. And um, Um, let's see, I'm going to do a half a scoop of my whey protein. So I'm just doing the half, about half a scoop in with my almond milk for after workout pick me up. It's sort of my reward for working out. I used to not drink this. Um, John drinks this all the time after a workout and I just figured, well, I'm not really trying to bulk up or anything and I didn't think I needed it, but I've learned that I have to have something after my workout or I get hangry and uh, so you have to really shut this tight, like really tight there. And then you shake it, shake it, shake it. I really like the metal ball in here. It's way better than the, um, I think I have a, a Contigo one that has a, the uh, plastic ball. I don't like that as well. The ball is solid, whereas this is uh, has the little holes in it. Let me shake this and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm very happy with where I'm at. I'm just gonna keep going. I just, I'm using what I, the workouts I've been doing. All right, this is really, really good. I'm halfway through my week and I've done my back and biceps and I've done my chest and legs and uh, my next workout will be uh, shoulders and triceps. So, um, yeah, and I've been doing abs every, about every other day, not every day. And uh, I've been getting on the treadmill, doing about 20 minutes of cardio. Uh, I've done that a couple of times now, and I'm uh, going and taking Roscoe for a walk since the weather's a lot nicer right now, and he's enjoying that. I'm surprised he didn't just hear me say that and came running. But no, he's, he's, He's at the front door waiting for daddy to come home because daddy's due home any minute. My daughter's birthday is in two days. I am really, really excited. So I'm going to show you guys what we got her. Don't tell her. <laughs> so, so at our house, birthdays are fairly easy because oh, I just have my kids text me what they want. She sent me the link. So I clicked on the link, went to Amazon, and I ordered it. So I guess it's a game. New York Times, USA Today, and Wall Street Journal best-selling author Orson Scott Card. Okay, so it's the Ender's Quartet. Maybe I guess it's book. I thought this was, uh, I thought this was a game, but anyway, it's books. So that's what she's getting for her birthday, and then we also ordered her uh, another game. So this, I'm not going to publish this. For sure until after her birthday but uh we, we got her um what's it called now my daughter's going to be 27 
that is freaking me out <laughs> but it's all good my son turns 30 in a few months um oh code names we ordered the game code names for jamie um we had gotten that for our son for christmas so we ordered a, a game for our daughter so that's just getting the code games she's getting this i guess these are books and um and then we're all amateur radio operators in our house we all have it well all except for my daughter she's the only one that hasn't taken the, t the test so my my husband so john's buying her the study guides uh, for her to take her her test so i actually um, had to learn morris code at 13 words a minute to pass my general class license for dsr nz thank you you're five nine in colorado Thank you so much. Zero. Back when we took our test, we had to do Morse code. You don't have to do that anymore. Um, and so our son, uh, he didn't have to do that. Our daughter won't have to do Morse code either. Uh, but she is a volunteer firefighter. She's uh, got her EMT and she works for the 911 dispatch. So I'm, I'm sure she can pass her amateur radio uh, license test. So, so I don't know. We'll see what she thinks of that birthday gift, but don't tell her. <laughs> so anyway, so there's a little catch up of sort of how I've been eating. I've been doing really well. Um, I'm not looking to lose weight. So in fact, I'm making sure I get enough calories to maintain. I just want to tone up. I want to just keep my cardio uh, in check, you know, just uh, improve my cardio. So I'm ready for bike rides in the summer. And I want to um, just make sure I'm off. Uh, I, my blood pressure stays under control, and it has so far. So that's uh, my update for today. Hope you guys are on track with your goals or whatever those are. And uh, yeah, thanks for keeping me accountable. And let me know what you guys are up to. What are you doing uh, to get ready for spring and summer? Do you guys do a workout regimen? Um, are you, have you? You know, is it something that you want to start doing? Uh, what is your favorite activity? I you know, I tend to like to do, oh, I love to do, I, I love to lift, which I didn't think, I, I didn't know that about myself till I turned 50. So, you know, you just never know. You can't, uh, you don't know until you try. And uh, that's my favorite workout. Um, I do, my husband and I do like to kayak in the summer. So we'll, we have a two-man kayak. It's an ocean kayak. We live in Colorado, but we uh, find it really handy to go out to the reservoir uh, in the summertime because there's so many speedboats and it's very choppy water. So um, so we do take our two-man ocean kayak out to uh, the reservoir. So we'll get to do some of that this summer. We like to ride our bikes, um, ro the road bikes, and we love to camp. And I, well, we both love this, but I, I feed this the hummingbirds. So, this time of year, we have about another month before they'll show up at our house, but we get really excited. So we'll, we'll be on the lookout here in a couple weeks and I'll start getting my hummingbird feeders cleaned and ready to go for the year. I put quite a few up. So you'll, you guys will see a lot of hummingbirds on my vlog this summer. Uh, and yeah, and we've already got camping trips planned. So I can't wait to, um, to share some of that guys with you, some of that stuff with you guys. So let me know what you guys are up to. Um, what are you going to be doing this summer? Got any vacations to, that you're planning? I think we have a, we're supposed to go on a cruise, but we haven't scheduled it. So I don't know how that's going to go, but I'll let you guys know. Uh, yeah. So that's my update and, uh, yeah. So have a great day, everyone. And I'll make sure if you, um, to give me a thumbs up if you like my video this was just sort of a chat with me kind of video so hopefully maybe you got something useful and um so give me a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys oh and an update too on my 100 subscriber i've been holding strong at between 100 and 911 last time i checked I'm over 100 and i've maintained over 100 since last friday so i told you guys that as soon as i hit 100 i would wait seven days and then i would do the drawing so i'm going to do the drawing this friday um the video might not go out the video i promise will be up by monday i will announce the winners but i am going to do the drawing on friday i'm not going to do it live because frankly i haven't done a live yet and i i'm going to uh, use one of those um one of those apps to do the drawing. 
So I'm not sure, you know, to how, I don't even know how to use it. I have to research and see which one. Uh, but I've seen people using them, but it's it's some kind of app that you use to uh, to do the like the subscriber giveaways and things like that. So I'm that's what I'm doing right now, finding one that works. I will do the drawing and record it. Uh, I will draw the name uh, using the app on Friday, and I will be sure and get that video posted either over the weekend or Monday at the latest. So, all right, I'm super excited, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, I um, just never. I uh, imagined um, just a, a few short months ago that I would even be doing this. So this has been a lot of fun. Thanks so much, everyone. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.